All right, we're going to learn a couple things about compressors today. Quick tip. So today we're going to learn step number 13 on my compressor guide. I'll post it below. 25 steps and how to troubleshoot the majority of compressors. Put that below along with the guide, but and the video too. This is step number 13. This is a failure of step number 13. You can see we're at 170 PSI. So you can see that the suction is closed. Okay. We can also see that the oil is closed. Right there. And then the discharge is the only thing that's open. The compressor is tripped currently, right? So, and it is off at the control voltage as well. So, we can see that that's filling up with discharge pressure, okay? So, we can tell that there's something mechanically wrong with the compressor. More than likely, the reed, va the reed valves are going um, it could be that some of the seals are no good. You know, we're gonna have to probably open up the compressor and take a look, or we can have a discussion with our customer and say, hey, this compressor's kind of old. Do you want to replace it anyway? What do you want to do? Um, that's where you cross that bridge based on what your company does. Now, my theory on what happened here is, I think that as that discharge goes into the compressor, It'll actually condense down into liquid refrigerant, right? And what happens is that liquid refrigerant will get stuck in that compressor and it'll actually cause it to trip. Because I already took my ohms on this compressor and I actually found that the compressor ohmed out just fine. It seems to be a working compressor other than this. So there had to be something that caused it to trip. That's my current theory on it. Let me know what you think of that. But anyway, this is a clear failure of step 13. This would now invoke, I think there's steps, it might be steps 19 through 20, um, 19 through 25, or I think so, which is when you actually, sorry, steps 23 through 25, where you actually open up the compressor and you actually take a look at the inside of it and then you try to determine what caused the damage. Is there flood bath? Is it corrosion? And obviously you need to have a discussion with your customer and what he or she wants to do. So I'm gonna just isolate this compressor. You know, if you lock out and tag it out. For now, and I can open it up and do what I gotta do. Anyway, Hope you learned a thing or two about a thing or two. That's how you do it. Please like, subscribe, and all that. And uh, leave a comment below. Have a good one.